Trains have a glorious past in this country, but even more importantly, they have a vital present and can look forward to an even more important future. The purpose of this video is to help you learn a little more about railroading and to earn a railroading merit badge in the process. There are seven requirements for earning a railroading merit badge. This video will provide information that will help you complete several of them. Railroads today are responsible for more freight transportation than any other form of transportation in the United States. And railroads have several inherent advantages that mean they will move even more freight in the future. For example, trains can move a ton of freight three times as far as a truck on a gallon of fuel. Trains emit fewer than a third as many pollutants into the atmosphere as trucks. And a single track can carry as much volume as several lanes of highway. What moves by rail? Well, a little bit of everything. Each type of freight may require a different type of freight car. Automobiles. Almost 70% of the new cars produced in this country move from the factory by train in auto rack cars like these. Coal, which is used to produce about 60% of the electricity this country uses, moves from mine to power plant in unit trains of open-top hopper cars like these that can carry as much as 120 tons at a time. Chemicals and food products like corn syrup that are used in manufacturing processes to produce other goods move to factories in tank cars. Tank cars are equipped with special protective devices to ensure the safety of both the contents and the communities through which they pass. Grain, to make our daily bread and to fill the stomachs of people all over the world, move in covered hoppers that can carry up to 120 tons each. Consumer goods of unimaginable variety, everything from furniture to computers to clothes to food, often move in containers and trailers that are carried on flat cars and specialized intermodal cars. Plain box cars can carry almost anything, but today are most often used to carry paper products, scrap paper, appliances, food products, and automobile tires, among other things. Equipped box cars are an integral part of the automotive assembly line, delivering components to assembly plants just before they start down the assembly line. Equipped cars also carry canned goods, appliances, and delicate machinery. Refrigerator cars, or reefers, carry fresh fruits and vegetables. Frozen foods and other perishables can maintain temperatures as low as zero degrees to ensure that perishables arrive in perfect condition. Gondola cars are at the forefront of the nation's recycling efforts, carrying scrap metal to facilities that will melt it down, remove impurities, and turn it into aluminum and steel ingots. There are different kinds of freight trains. Many will carry a variety of car types that carry a wide range of raw materials and finished products. These so-called mixed freights once were the backbone of the railroad industry's freight business. Today, however, some products move in specialized trains called unit trains. Grain, for example, is moved in trains like this that can carry several hundred thousand bushels at a time to ports for export in covered hoppers and coal is carried in open-top hoppers in unit coal trains. These specialized trains bypass intermediate yards as they shuttle back and forth between coal mine and electric utilities, carrying as much as 15,000 tons at a time. The result? Faster service, lower costs, and more efficient equipment utilization. The average coal car makes 36 trips per year, while the average boxcar makes just 12.